In this little video, I'm going to teach you the very basic basics of using nonlinear deformers. We're going to start with opening the scene, which is the base cube scene that's provided on Moodle. This is the scene. If you look at it, shade it, there's a cube. And it's a very simple cube. It's got very little geometry, uh, but it's nicely smoothed out. To create a nonlinear deformer, make sure you're in the animation menu. And in create deformers, choose nonlinear, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's bend, flare, sine, squash, twist, and wave. We're going to start off with using the bend deformer. And we want to create it while having the cube selected. So nonlinear bend. It doesn't actually show anything, but if we open up our outliner, you can see there now is a bend handle. And if we take off the shading, you can see there's a little green line going down the middle of the cube right now. That is the deformer. So I'm selecting the deformer, and in the channel editor, you have the input bent, and that's where all the controls are hidden. And if I select curvature, and then with my middle mouse button move left to right, you can see that it actually bends the cube. So this is actually working, a bent deformer. There's a few options. There's a low bound and a high bound. If I make it bent and then play with a low bound, it's from which point at the bottom the bend will actually occur. So if I make it lower, it will actually straighten out the bottom. And if I make it longer, it would make the bend go around the bend even longer. Uh, the default will be minus one. Now, if I go and move the cube, um, you see that it changes the way it's, it's bending because the bent deformer is not moving with the cube. If you want to use this to animate the cube, you better make sure that it moves with the cube. There are, of course, a couple of ways to do this. You could parent the bend handle directly to the cube, hitting P, and then they're sure to move together. Of course, you can also, I'm undoing that now, uh, be a little bit more elaborate and create a curve. We're going to the curve menu, creating a curve. I'm holding X down to make sure it's centered on the origin and then pulling it out without holding X and then making a nice little curve, which I'm going to call cube control. And then I'm going to parent both the handle and the cube to that control. So if I select the control, I can move them together. It is fun, however, to also move the band handle separately. Look what happens if I move it up. You see that the bend, the center of the bend moves through the object. And if I rotate it around, it will now bend in a different direction. Now it is actually, if I select the input bend and do the curvature, it's bending back and forth. So that's a very basic explanation on how to use the bend deformer. 